Disney Dreamlight Valley's A Rift in Time Expansion Pass introduces us to Gaston, who came with his own friendship quests. He plays an important role in freeing Jafar from the palace in the story of this expansion. In this video, I'll go over all of his friendship quests so that you can successfully complete them in your own game. I've put timestamps in the description below in case you want to skip to a particular quest. Before we get started, do me a favor and smash that subscribe button and turn on notifications so that you can know every time I post a new Disney Dreamlight Valley video. Without further ado, let's get into it. To unlock Gaston's first quest, you must start by progressing through Jafar's story quests. Complete Jafar's The Sands in the Hourglass quest. The end of that quest will have you unlock the Glittering Dunes and the Wild Tangle. So, after you've done that, you can head to the Glittering Dunes and find Gaston next to the body of Quicksand. Talk to him to start his first quest, The Wanderer of the Dunes. You'll need three Agave, one Scorpion, and four Dates in your inventory. Give them to Gaston. Follow him. Talk to him. Look around his camp for three items. Coconuts, a paint palette, and in a chest you should find some homemade glue. Give everything to Gaston. Unlock the wastes in the glittering dunes for 4,000 mist. Enter the wastes and talk to Gaston by the shipwreck. Fish in the nearby pond of quicksand to catch coconut lafu. Give it to Gaston. Search the plains for a desert scarab piece using your hourglass. Talk to Jafar using any hologram station. Talk to Gaston to complete the quest. As soon as you complete Gaston's The Wanderer of the Dunes quest, his next one will instantly start. The Wild Tangle Swarm. To start this quest, you'll have to go to the Wild Tangle to meet Rapunzel, and you need to give Gaston some time to himself. I'm not sure how much time he needs, but by the time you finish helping Rapunzel out with her first few quests, he should be ready. Talk to him to continue the quest. Talk to Rapunzel. Head to the grove and find the area that has swarming insects. Take a picture of them. Talk to Rapunzel. You'll need four green fly traps, four purple fly traps, four red pitcher plants, four yellow pitcher plants, and twelve tropical wood. Craft two carnivorous flower arrangements. Head back to the swarming insects in the grove and place the two carnivorous flower arrangements close to them. Talk to Gaston. Head back to where the insects used to be and pick up the sparkling item that's on the pedestal. Talk to Jafar at any hologram station. Use the blueprint he gave you in your inventory.
Repair the jungle scarab piece at a time bending table. Talk to Jafar to complete the quest. As soon as you complete Gaston's The Wild Tangle Swarm quest, the next one will instantly start. Diamond in the Rough. Start by talking to Gaston and giving him the scarab pieces. Follow the floating scarab. When it stops, interact with it and then watch as the Cave of Wonders appears itself to you. Enter the Cave of Wonders. Walk further inside. After Jafar talks to you, you'll need to find a way to open the glowing blue gate. It's optional to talk to Jafar for hints, but here's how to solve the puzzle. Start by finding a side pathway that's blocked by splinters of fate. Pick up the power coil and then put it into its place on that wall. Head back to the area with the gate and pull the lever. You can pass through the gate now. Now you'll have to unlock the next gate. It's optional to get hints from Jafar, but this is how to unlock it. Let's start by heading down the hallway to the left. Get rid of the splinters of fate right in front of you. Pick up the circle. Then head down the ramp and pull the first lever you see. Head down a hall that is blocked by more splinters of fate. Pull that lever. Head back towards where the gate was and put the ancient mirror into its slot in the wall where one of the red lasers ends. Follow the laser to the area with the gate and pull the lever. Now let's head down the hallway to the right. To solve the puzzle, start by turning the first circle on the right twice. Heading counterclockwise, turn the next one three times. Turn the next one once. Turn the next one twice. And then the last one once. Now you can grab the power coil in the center. Head back to the area with the gate and put the power coil into its slot next to the hallway on the right. Now you can pass through the gate.
Head up the large staircase and pick up the Jewel of Time. Leave the Cave of Wonders. Talk to Gaston to complete the quest. To unlock the next quest, Gaston must be at level 2. You must progress further with Remy and Rapunzel's quests, and the grove has to be unlocked. Talk to him to start the quest, Center of Attention. Enter the Lodge in the Wastes. Talk to Gaston. Interact with the portrait on the wall. Dig up the five piles of sand. Talk to Gaston. Collect an Alexandrite, Jade, and Spinal. It doesn't matter if they're shiny or not. Give the gems to Scrooge. You'll need 15 copper, 10 oasis glass, and 15 tropical wood. Give everything to Gaston. Repair Gaston's lodge by using the Scrooge McDuck sign. Enter the lodge and then talk to Gaston. Use the blueprints in your inventory. Use your hourglass to find a freezer fragment in the lower part of the grasslands, one in the upper part of the grasslands, and one in the grove. Assemble the freezer of infinite meat at a time-bending table. Give it to Gaston. Head to Gaston's stall in the waste and repair it by using the Scrooge McDuck sign. Talk to Gaston. Cook four meals of at least two stars. The meals all have to have meat from Gaston's stall in them. If you want to know a recipe for a meat meal, you can find one buried by Gaston's lodge. Give the meals to Gaston in his lodge. Talk to all the guests. Remy, Scrooge, 
and Rapunzel. Talk to Gaston to complete the quest. To unlock the next quest, Wally, Maui, and Kristoff have to be unlocked. Gaston must be at level 4, and the Oasis and the Grove must be unlocked. Talk to him to start the quest, Gaston the... Hero? Catch an electric eel, piranha, or prisma shrimp in the wild tangle. Give your catch to Gaston. Use your hourglass to find compass fragments near water. There's one at the docks, the one in the oasis, and one in the grasslands. Reassemble the compass at a time-bending table. Use it in your inventory. Talk to Gaston. Dig the sparkling spot in the area you first met Eve. Find the giant ship in the wild tangle and dig near it on the ground. Dig the spot by the Cave of Wonders. Give everything you found to Gaston. You'll need to find the owners of the three items. Everyone on your map right now that is highlighted in blue are the potential owners of the items, so it's optional to talk to all of them, but Eve, Merlin, and Scrooge are the rightful owners of the light bulb, brush, and pick. Talk to Gaston to complete the quest. To unlock the next quest, Gaston must be at level 7 and you have to progress further with Scrooge's quests. Talk to him to start the quest, no one heroes like Gaston. Put on a red top, black pants, brown shoes, and any gloves. It's optional to buy those things from Scrooge. Talk to Gaston. Pick up the five piles of cobra eggs that are in the glittering dunes and gather two piranhas. Cook three shakes. Give the egg piles and piranhas to Gaston. Eat the three shakes. Talk to Gaston. You'll need 20 coconuts, 2 brass ingots, 30 tropical wood, 30 stone, and 20 fiber. Craft Gaston's Coconut Gym. Order a Queen of the Sea mirror from Scrooge.
Place both items near the docks on Ancient's Landing. Talk to Maui. Follow Maui to Gaston and view the conversation over their heads. Take three pictures of Gaston. Talk to him. Give a picture to Scrooge. Give a picture to Rapunzel. Give a picture to Maui. Talk to Gaston to complete the quest. To unlock the last quest, Gaston must be at level 10, Olaf must be at level 2, Minnie Mouse, Vanellope, and Donald have to be unlocked, and you have to progress further with Mickey Mouse's and Stitch's quests. Talk to him to start the quest, Dreamlight Valley's next top LeFou. Talk to Stitch, Donald, Olaf, Minnie, and Vanellope. Talk to Gaston. Talk to Stitch. Use those recipes in your inventory if you haven't already. Cook a coconut cake, coffee, hard boiled eggs. Scrambled egg, and an omelet. Give all the meals to Stitch. Talk to Olaf. Get rid of three glass stalagmites. Five swirling sands. Five copper rocks. And pick up any five flowers on Eternity Isle. Give the flowers to Olaf. Perform three Dreamlight or Mist duties. Talk to Gaston. 
You'll need 30 tropical wood, 5 copper, 5 plastic scrap, 5 blue glass-like flowers, and 5 blue luminescent flowers. Craft the Gastonian Appreciation Stage. Place it anywhere. Snap a photo. Talk to Gaston. During this conversation, he'll ask you who you think should be his new sidekick, Stitch or Olaf. Depending on who you said, that's who you'll watch talk to Gaston next. And then you should go congratulate the winner that you chose. Talk to Gaston to complete the quest. That is all of Gaston's quest in Disney Dreamlight Valley. I hope this tutorial video helped you. If it did, please consider liking and subscribing to support my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in a future video.